Hi guys, it's Mr. Rock here. We're out at the Beach Creek, Beach Creek Botanical Garden, and uh, we're in their butterfly exhibit right now. And I'm standing here with Jim. And uh, are you the butterfly Puppy. expert for here, or? Uh, yeah, I manage the uh, the butterfly house. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Um, so we we were kind of walking around here and, and kind of checking stuff out, and I managed to get a little friend. Right. Who, who's this guy right here? This is a, a spicebush swallowtail uh -huh. caterpillar. Okay. Uh, the spicebush swallowtail uh, is uh, native to this area, and the reason it's called spicebush swallowtail is uh, spicebush is is the one of the main host plants. Um, then the host plant is is basically the food plant that uh, caterpillars. Okay. Okay. And so it was, so we have a spicebush here that that's behind us that's it's eaten and because no, that's the one here that doesn't have any leaves on it yeah I don't know if it's in it yeah so um, so this caterpillar um, so the butterflies laid eggs on the spice bush and then the uh, caterpillar um, grew by eating the spice bush leaves. and the little eyes that, that you saw on the caterpillar are not real eyes they're what are called false eyes or, or uh, uh, eye spots, and they actually, um, uh, they're, they're defense mechanisms to make it look like a little creature okay. that's more dangerous. Sure, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's amazing how all the animals have something like that right. out in nature, so right. um, it's cool to see one on an actual caterpillar because I, I personally have never figured that. Um, so how many butterfly species do we have in here? Well, right now we have about eight that are flying. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get my notes out so I can remember them all. So we have uh, painted ladies, uh, monarchs, zebra swallowtails, spicebush swallowtail, cabbage whites. Uh, I don't know if I said painted ladies already. Sulfurs and um, polyphemus moths. So so we do rear some moths uh, here and have them on display. Also, I mean, watch, watch yeah, watch. <laughs> He's almost been, so, so on the floor there. <laughs> Just have him watch you. Alex, watch on. where you're at. Yeah. <laughs> Just scoot them off. Just kind of scoot them. They are uh, doing a uh, uh, activity that's uh, this behavior that's called puddling. So you can see the bricks are kind of wet there, and um, the butterflies uh, sip up uh, minerals and salts from the wet surface. A lot of times they'll do it uh, next to puddles. That's okay. why it's called puddling. And it's mostly males. Males are the ones that, that need more of the uh, minerals. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have never thought to look down. Yeah. Adam, now that you've mentioned it, I see there's quite a few. Oh, yeah, there's quite a few, yeah. Yeah, yeah we have to tell people to watch where they're walking. So, where I work, we teach a little bit about the, the life cycle from caterpillars and butterflies. Mm -hmm. um, for those who are watching this that don't know what that is, can you explain that a little bit to us? Yes. So, there are four stages to the uh, caterpillar life cycle. The, the female butterfly lays an egg on one of their host plants, their food plants, and then out of that egg hatches a caterpillar, and that usually takes three or four days. And then the caterpillar eats and eats and eats, and it goes, the caterpillar actually goes through five stages, and it's called instars, and it molts. Uh, it loses its, it sheds its skin just like a snake, so it can um, then grow some more. And then once the caterpillar has matured, it makes a, a chrysalis or a pupa. And then out of that pupa, the butterfly emerges. And that whole life cycle can take anywhere from three weeks to six to eight weeks, depending on which species. And it also can vary with the temperature. If it's, if it's real cold, it will take, uh, like cold, cold to a butterfly is, say, 60 degrees. Sure. So if it's cold, it will take longer. So is that... Do they all go through the similar process, or do they vary a little bit? By they actually all go through the same the same steps. Okay. Of course, they have different food plants that they eat, and it may, it may take a different uh, amount of time 
but they basically all go through those same four steps. There's that, that change, there's that change from one form to another where we use the term metamorphosis. Okay. Very cool. So, do you think we can catch one? I think we can. Yes. All right. Good. Should we should we use a, uh, yeah, how a do, sugar how do you, stick? Is that how we do it? That's that's the easiest way. So here we have a monarch butterfly, and if I can see inside its wings, I can tell you whether the whether it's a male or female. This is a female. Uh, some butterflies, you can tell the difference between the males and females, um, and, and, and others you can't. Monarchs you can. The males have uh, little oval spots on their wings called scent patches. Okay. Um, this one does not, and it has wider uh, black veins. And uh, what she is doing is uh, her feeding tube, which is called the proboscis, she's poking around there and drinking the sh sugar water, which is similar to flower nectar from that. Uh, the proboscis is kind of like a flexible straw that also has slits on the end. So, so they can draw up uh, nectar both from the, the end of the proboscis and also from the sides. Oh, very nice. And it's long so it can reach down into flowers. Cocoons that uh, the uh, polyphemus moth, there's one here, there's a couple here. Caterpillar is made. Uh, Now we'll and we'll look. We'll look for uh, if we don't find a caterpillar here, we'll find one on. I, I know another tree we can go to. Now here's one that there's a hole on the end. You can see. So that's where the moth came out of okay. uh, after it transformed from uh, uh, the caterpillar. Um, then the uh, one of the difference between moths and Butterflies is that uh, butterflies in their third stage or pupa stage, butterflies make a chrysalis and then moths make a uh, cocoon or, or a pupa that goes in the ground. So that cocoon just refers to the, uh, the silk uh, cover, okay. silk enclosure with the pupa inside. So I'm guessing moths and butterflies are pretty much related to each other? Very right? closely related, yeah, they're in the same order. The, or, the Lepidoptera is the name of the order, which basically means, uh, uh, translates to like wings with scales. That's, okay. that's what their coloring comes from, is all these little, little scales kind of look like roof shingles. Um, so when you catch a butterfly, if you catch a butterfly's wings and you see it looks like a little bit of dust on your, your hands, those are actually the little scales. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt them as long as you don't break or bend their wings. Okay. But it's probably a good okay. idea to just not try to catch them unless you're right. Unless you know what you're doing, right? Because yeah. if you grab it, you can break. You can break. It. Okay. Very nice. So you have another building over that way. Yes. What is that building? That is, we call that the caterpillar nursery, and that's where we rear the butterflies uh, from egg to caterpillar stage into the chrysalis stage. Um, so we most of the butterflies that are in here. We rear from, from ourselves, from eggs. Okay. Well, how about we go over there and kind of take a look at what you Let's got. Let's go look and see what's over there. Are you able to go back? Are you able to be quiet or do you want to go back? So this is one of the polyphemus. Oh, wow. Caterpillar. Yeah, actually that's, that's, uh, it, that's not quite to maturity. Yeah, they can't yet. So it's you can see there's on. one, there's, there's a there. 
So is that how it makes the cocoons? Like it takes a leaf and it holds it to start? Or it, it, it uses silk, because they, the, the caterpillars make uh, silk just like a, a spider does it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. They can use it for uh, different, uh, different things. They can use it to move from leaf to leaf, like a, like a, uh, a lot like spider man. Okay. Uh, uh, web. Yeah. Uh, right. um, and and but they they can also and they can use it uh, to attach the, themselves when they're ready to make a Christmas. Right. And um, moths use it um, to make their their food. And oftentimes um, the, that's uh, when it comes to the fall. That's where the uh, moth is spending inside the oh, And okay. then it will come out late in the spring or. Right, so you were talking that the butterflies do six to eight weeks, and then the moths do longer? Is that, uh, well, it depends, it, it depends on uh, the time of year, actually. Okay. But even, the, even um, some of the butterflies will um, spend the winter, like the swallowtails, uh, the way they survive the winters in Ohio is after they, in the fall, when they make their Christmas, they won't emerge, they'll just stay in their, their Christmas. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so, all these different enclosures that you have here, I'm guessing you guys kind of get these caterpillars, or do you? Well, I think most of them came from from eggs. Of course, we had to have adults. You know, we had to, or we had to have some stage to start with. You know. okay. Some, some, some we keep from year to year. Uh, uh, however, they survive during the winter. So. So when these, the polyphemus moth, when they make their uh, foods in the fall, we'll keep some of them, and then they'll emerge in, in May or June, and they'll pair and lay more eggs, and we'll keep them going that way. Others, uh, livestock, we call them butterfly livestock, sure. should be purchased uh, okay. from various people who, who rear them, and sometimes we can find them in the wild. Okay. So it's probably super busy in here right before you guys open the butterfly house. It, it is getting ready, but actually probably right now is the busiest that we get because there's, as the summer progresses, there's a lot more species available. So we have a lot of different species, both in the butterfly house and in, in the caterpillar form. And caterpillars, they just constantly eat, so we need, they need to be fed. You know, we have, in each of these enclosures, we have to check them every day and add food and, and clean them out and, and, and um, keep them clean so that they don't get right. uh, disease. So I see a lot of hands-on stuff here. Yep. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what some of these do? Yes. Uh, so we have a board here uh, that has that has uh, caterpillars on one side and butterflies on, on the other side. And um, you hold the green button. So, for instance, here's I know that this is a black swallowtail caterpillar, and the black swallowtail butterfly is up here. So, if I hold both buttons down, this light that isn't too bright, but bright enough to see, it comes on. So, it's just it's a little um, kind of fun way of. of Trying to uh, learn the, which cat, what the caterpillars look like for the different species. Um, we have we have uh, we have cartoons of butterfly caterpillar related cartoons displayed everywhere that people like to read. Uh, sure. There was one I was looking at earlier. If we could, if you could tell me a little bit about this, I feel like see now it's 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 in two different pieces. So this right here, there was another one be below it. Was, right. Is that this is what's emerging? called a uh, an evergreen bagworm? It's it's a moth, bagworm moth. It's a it's caterpillar. It's caterpillar has a very um, unique behavior in that it makes a, a little bag, a little enclosure out of plant material, mm. and it basically uh, carries it around. It travels around with the uh, inside, partially inside uh, that uh, little bag, and then when it's ready 
to uh, form a cocoon, it it just uses that bag. So that's how it will this, that's how it will spend the, the winter in its little bag. So it's preparing its home, essentially. Yes, and it's using that as, as protection. Uh, for instance, you know, if, if if a predator would come along, it could just um, go inside its bag and hide. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Like I can see them coming in and out a little bit mm -hmm. right here. Yep. Yeah, and they rarely come all the way out, at least from what we've seen here. This is the first year we've actually had them um, where we could display them. So a lot of times uh, we, we get a lot of uh, just people, our volunteers or someone that knows a volunteer, and they'll find something interesting and bring it in here, and that's what happened here, um, is that um, a friend of one of our uh, employees found these, and she brought them in, and so we put them on display. Sure. So you mentioned volunteers. So how, um, how how does someone become a volunteer here? Right. Well, there's two. Uh, as far as the butterfly house, yeah, there, there's most of the volunteers we have are what we call flight attendants. They're uh, people that are in the butterfly house as visitors come in, and uh, they're greeting them. They're explaining to them what's going on and, and showing them some of the different highlights. Um, so it's very uh, visitor uh, interactive. Um, then uh, we have some people that would rather do behind the scenes, and so there's, a, a, in order to rear all these caterpillars, it's very uh, labor intensive. We do have staff that do most of the work, mm -hmm. but it's nice to have uh, volunteers occasionally uh, to do some of the work. So sure. if you like and, uh, to um, work with plants and caterpillars, um, you can you can do that, and it's a great way. Both in both instances, it's just a great way to learn about butterflies and right. and their life cycle. So over here behind us is this the behind the scenes that you were talking about? Yes. So on the other side of this um, little uh, fence wall here, open open wall is is where we rear um, the uh, the majority of the caterpillars. So each one of those little. Uh, Totes, plastic. We use plastic totes. We use uh, those those mesh pop-ups. It's kind of like a laundry bag that has uh, all the sides are enclosed. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, we rear them in there until they form their Christmas, and then we bring them over to the butterfly house. Right now, these ones with the pipe in it that I'm looking at. Yeah, those are those. We have various ways of. Uh, of holding the, the plant material, um, and that's just a, a way of holding little tubes of water, so we can put the plants in, so the the, the plants don't don't uh, dry out as Kinda quickly. Kind of like potting without soil. Yeah, or just like if you were to take um, cuttings um, and, and have a, a flower arrangement on your kitchen table, and you want the you want the flowers to last longer, you put them in a vase. So right. This is, this is a similar thing. Um, that uh, um, we have, like I said, we have we have different test tubes and different uh, types of uh, plastic containers. That we have. So what's what's so this we thing? have so in the life cycle theater mm -hmm. we have some short videos. They're about three minutes long and they just keep repeating themselves. That, that shows uh, some of, of the um, parts of the life cycle that uh, you may not. Uh, often see the, the the first one on the left shows a caterpillar hatching from its egg. Of course, it's a fairly high uh, magnification, and um, th this happens to be a uh, monarch caterpillar, mm -hmm. and they basically um, chew their way out of the egg, um, somewhat similar to what a uh, chicken would do, except of course a little chick pecks it. Pecks it way out of the egg. Right. And uh, many of the uh, uh, butterfly caterpillars, they will actually, once they come out, they will actually turn around and eat their, their eggshell. That will be their, their first meal. And then next to that is a, a butterfly that's coming out of its uh, chrysalis. It, it's called, the term is, it, it's used is called uh, eclo eclosing. Um, and so the, it, they, they come out, when they first come out, they're all 
shriveled up and then they pump fluid into their wings and expand their wings and that whole process takes about two to three hours before then they're ready to fly off and their wings are burned up. Okay. And then, <coughs> excuse me, oh, the third video just shows some caterpillars eating, they're, it's kind of fun to watch. And the last video uh, shows a caterpillar transforming into a uh, chrysalis. And since that process takes a long, we have that, that one uh, in parts is sped up. Okay. So the, I see rings, it almost kind of looks like separations, is that how it expands? Um, well, eventually that will all condense. Uh, the rings are probably, the, 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 um, the, the caterpillar, so the transformation mm -hmm. happens from the inside out, so the, the rings probably um, uh, are a remnant left over from it being a caterpillar, but once it's done, It'll be, uh, it'll be totally, it'll be totally smooth. Okay, yeah, that makes sense.